everybody. How are you? Mm. Right, I'm, I look awful today, I know. But I've got a kind of cosy, homey feeling. I haven't really put any makeup on. Bit of a slob. And that's how I want to eat. I want to eat something that's really easy. We can just put together that's healthy, goddess-like and delicious. So this is my garlic, chicken and other stuff goddess bowl. Mm. <laughs> just really trips off Is the that tongue. that's going to be called? Yeah, maybe I'll think of something before we actually put it up on YouTube. Yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> so in here I've got two delicious, because they're organic and they're really yummy, nicely fed, happy chickens. Um, uh, two big um, breasts, so yeah, that could feed four. Beg your pardon, you want two two big, big breasts, so that could feed four people. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian, just change this to tofu or mushrooms. Delicious, and just cook it in exactly the same way. So, because then everything else is vegan. So, I've marinated these for about. Oh, they've been in there for about an hour in that soy sauce. But if you don't have an hour, even just five minutes, it softens up the chicken. Oh my God. Um, I've taken to these days, buying all my chicken and marinating it all together in a, in a, for like the whole week. And it, it's a game changer. So, is it noisy? Bloody hell. Get the chicken cooking. It'll be all right in a minute. It'll calm down. Step back, because I'm going to move it around. Step back. It'll calm down in a minute. But I love when you when you've um, marinated it in that soy, that that lovely dark sticky sort of look. Okay, so that's calming down. Now I'm not using fresh garlic. I'm going to just use this. I've been doing this all week with my chicken. I did a curry. I did. What else did we have? We've had all sorts of chicken this week. But I've used this every time and fried it. I really notice the difference if I'm going, oh, this chicken's really nice. It's a really good seasoning. So loud. Sorry! It's nearly done. I'll turn it down. It'll be done in a minute, that. It'll only got another minute of cooking. It's that. In fact, I'm going to turn it off because while I'm making the rest, it will cook through. But... Always make sure that you cook your chicken, cut your chicken exactly the same size, so that when you want to see if it's cooked, you only have to cut into one piece. So if you cut into all the pieces, it releases the juices and then you get a dry chicken. Also, try and get your chicken out of the fridge about half an hour before you want it. So, that's a question. So, I'm just gonna make a little, it's like a mini quick slaw. So I'm going to give a drizzle of rice wine vinegar. Don't worry if you don't have rice wine vinegar. Just use any old vinegar. A drizzle of sesame oil. So everything I'm putting in the bowl, into the goddess bowl, and some salt will have its own flavour. You know, I'll have flavoured each of them individually. And you might think, oh my God, what a palaver. But you saw how quick that was. It was nothing. It was literally... Nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit. Over here, I'm going to make my dressing for my goddess bowl. So I'm using... What um, is a goddess bowl? Is that well, it? Well, yeah, it's just a bowl of... You, you've you had them before. It's when I put the rice and the different vegetables. It's just goddess-like because everything is delicious and nutritious and yummy. Mm. So you're like a goddess. So I'm going to use 100... Remember, everything I'm doing here is for... Um, four people but i'm just going to make up one bowl so use the low salt soy sauce if you can 100 mils um 50 mils of mirin mirin is a flavoring but if you don't have it like i haven't just i'm using some dry sherry just like that so if you're alcohol intolerant you can't have this bit that goes in so I'm not going to put that in because my husband's been sober for 18 years and I don't want to tip him over mm. the edge of his mm. salad dressing. Thanks, babe. <laughs> and with the so, salad dressing as well. Oh, gorgeous. Tablespoon of dry sherry or, yeah. Um, so what am I doing next? Ginger. So 
fresh ginger. I mean, you don't have to put the fresh ginger at all, but it's really nice if you do. It's really nice if you do. Can you imagine if I'd just forgotten then and put that bloody sherry in? Because if I'm actually honest, I had forgotten. I was going to put the sherry in. <laughs> Very dangerous. So I'm going to give that a little stir. And I'm going to, because we haven't put the sherry, we want a little something. So I'm just going to put a splash of the rice wine vinegar in there as well. And a splash of maple syrup. Do you know what? I'm going to put the tiniest bit in there as well, just so we get sort of a sweet, sharp taste. Just try it. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, over here, right, now we're going to put little separate flavourings on those once we put the bowl put them into the bowl. So we want an avocado. I am so frightened of this avocado. I'm literally petrified. Why? Can we make a deal? If I open this avocado and it's a bit bruised, can we just overlook it and put it in the goddess bowl anyway? Yeah. Okay. It's so hard to get a bloody decent. Anyone watching from California, we are so jealous of your avocado. Uh, I've not got a good feeling. I think sometimes they put them in the freezer in this country. It's all right. Uh, it's not Instagrammable, but we can certainly, as humans, eat it. So I usually do about a quarter. Oh, yeah, I'll take that off. Oh, I'll take that off. Mm. Don't look at that bit. <laughs> oh, I'll take that little bit I'll look off. at the chicken. Yeah, go somewhere else, babe. I'll, I'll deal with the avocado. Just I'm just making it. I'm just making it Instagrammable. Yeah, You're right there, cheek. <laughs> don't forget, right, everything has to be better on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to get my rice. Do right, cheek. So your now rice. Mark is starving, so he's probably going to have this whole bowl of rice. Um, what I usually do, this is what I usually do with my rice is, I get a big bag of of brown rice and I make it up and then immediately cool it down, put it out on a tray so it cools down really fast and then put it into little bags and put it in the freezer. Brilliant way to do it because you've just got them ready to go so that so it's easy but the other thing about it is you reduce your starch by I think 30% by freezing your rice, same with potatoes, pasta or anything so a little tip for you. Right, let's have a little open of our chicken because I'm sure some of you are thinking that chicken's not going to be cooked in the middle. But because of the residual heat in the pan, cooked to perfection, look, look at that, and still juicy. Mmm. People massively overcook their chicken all the time. That chicken juice, look at that. Oh. Love a chicken juice. Mmm. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit, we've lost quite a, quite a bit of liquid because we haven't put the sherry in. So you would have more than that. You could add some oil if you want. So I'm just going to put that into the rice. And honestly, just that little bit because it's very strong. So nice. Okay, so we have our goddess. We have the base of our goddess bowl. And now we add all the gorgeous veggies and protein. Mmm. Oh, the sesame oil on that smells so nice. Oh, hang on, I'm going to leave some for me. Sorry, I said this was for four people. It's not for four people, it's for two people. Okay, so then we're going to add our carrots. And I'm going to do a little, a wee wee drizzle. You don't want it swimming. But just a wee drizzle, oh sorry, of sesame oil on the carrots, just like that. And then to add that, I've got these, I'm crazy about these. Sanchi sesame seed seasoning. And they've got white and little bits of seaweed. You don't have to do any of this. This is the extra faffy bit. You don't have to do this. You can just bung it all in and have it just with the dressing all over it. Avocado. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Don't look at the avocado. I'm going to put a little bit more dressing on the avocado. Mm. It makes it delicious, but also, of course... Is it like a pokey bowl? Um, I'm never too sure what poke bowl is. It's a poke, isn't it? Poke bowl. Poke bowl. Um, a little bit more dressing on there. So you don't want it all swimming, you just want a, a little flavour of it. There we go. Then we're going to put our chicken. Oops. Oh, it smells so good. Get some of that juice. Oh, you know what I'd like. You know what I'd like to do now. Get a nice big lump of crusty bread and stick it in that garlicky juice. Some cashew nuts. Now I fry them raw and then I just ro I fry them lightly or roast them lightly. Because they're much better for you raw. Okay. Now last bit. I've discovered this. Again, you don't have to do this last bit. Drizzle peanut butter. Then, final shot. Oh God, don't say the kids have taken it to their room again when they have pizza. Where's the sriracha? There's no one here. Drizzle of sriracha. Mm. There you go. Goddess bowl extraordinaire. And by the time you've seen this on YouTube and you've clicked on this, we'll have come up with a decent title. It'd be something like, oh God.